the EC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, it is Monday and it's time for Jasmine's Monday tag. I was almost going to say Yasmin because actually that would be how it would be pronounced over here in Switzerland, but it's Jasmine. Okay, so before we start the tag, I'm just going to say, Jasmine, that update video that you sent us about the carnival was fantastic. Okay really liked, liked it. I really enjoyed it. Okay, five questions. Ah, what are your weaknesses? Um, ah, I've mentioned this different things before. I think overall though, one of the weaknesses uh, I even get two. Uh, I think it's, I had to learn, I'm better now, but it's still a weakness to listen better. Uh, sometimes by not listening at certain people's viewpoints, I can give the impression that I'm condescending when I'm not. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Question two. Uh, do you have many apps on your phone? <laughs> More than I know. I have no idea how many apps I have on my phone. There are a lot though, a lot. Uh, and some that I've completely forgotten about because I've had an iPhone for years now. So there's some that probably don't even work anymore, you know, but uh, yeah, I have a lot of apps. Uh, <clears throat> question three, but well, before I go to three, but I still use a lot of them, yes. Question three, something funny that happened to you, but was not funny at the time. Uh, I, I did mention it once in a vlog somewhere. I was in Canada. We were on the uh, Rocher Percé. If you look that up, so Rocher like rock, Percé per pierced. It's in Quebec, and you can go walk to the to the uh, to the end of the rock, and usually, and you can rock uh, walk by low tide. Actually, now you can walk by any tide. But I always thought, at least that was how it was for many years until they did some work. You could only go there by low tide, and uh, I was helping I uh, help some people. Uh, up like a a, a a rocky ledge and because uh, the tide was coming in and we were all panicking because we thought that uh, we we're going to be stuck here uh, at the high tide well uh, the not funny part was they once I'd helped them it was a couple ladies uh, once I helped them they went off and left me and I kept slipping and slipping and slipping and I'm certain that if one would have seen me it would have looked it would have been something for a, one of those TV videos you know the guy who's slipping on the slime and falling back on his bum and slipping again and falling back on his bum until basically he manages to drag himself over that uh, and then I joined Mrs. DC I was actually panicking and she didn't know really why uh, I was like that uh, and I explained to her I says the tide's coming up and then she pointed uh, to the path basically and we could see that the path you could walk back uh, why you could walk back is like I said they had made a bridge or something somewhere and the silt that came and deposited itself between the land and the uh, and the rock so that you could walk by all tides but it wasn't the case before so yeah it probably looked funny but certainly wasn't funny for me at the time. I thought I was going to die. Okay, what is that? Question three, yes. Question four, I've got to run in here. Uh, do you buy birthday and Christmas presents for yourself? Now, if you mean by that, do I buy and wrap them? Uh, no, no. But I usually do check when there's sales around especially around Christmas, 
because I know what I want, especially if it's an electronic stuff and so on. And I also know that the other people, if they buy it for me, they're not going to get what I want. I'm the only one probably that really, really knows in the electronics what I want or things like that or books or stuff like that. So uh, I do tend to buy things around them, but I don't wrap them up. I mean, they're not like officially birthday Christmas presents. Um, Jasmine said it. Uh, she was born on uh, December 24th. My mom is born on December 24th. So you see, we've always been used to buying both birthdays and Christmas presents then. Yeah. Uh, question five. Something that you do not like about yourself. Um, pretty much like myself. I think it's be very important to learn to like myself. I think that's one of the most important things. But now if I go by a, a trait that I don't like about myself, um, would be uh, my bad sight. I have really bad eyes uh, and I don't see very well and the right eye is just about dead. So that would be one thing that I don't like about myself. But as far as my character goes, you know, it could be a lot worse <laughs> and I tend to like myself yeah okay I guess that's about it I've answered all the questions and as you can see I'm outside right now not far from home actually there's a little pond in the park uh, opposite to where we live so it's really nice little park also for kids and people and there's a, a mini golf as we call it here uh, just over there which is very popular with schools mom dads divorced parents and so on yeah <laughs> okay everybody that'll be it for this week jasmine's jasmine's tag dc signing off take care everybody bye-bye